we are committing to build the next fleet of Parramatta ferries in Australia. They are also being designed in Australia because we know when we build things here, they last and they are reliable. We know that way we will get better value for the taxpayer, but we will also get a better quality product for passengers here on the Parramatta River. We're pleased to have awarded the tender to Richardson Divine Marine from Tasmania. And I'm pleased that Mr. Richardson could join us this morning. Uh, they are a, uh, a firm of decades of experience and are experts at building aluminium catamarans, that many of which are actually in operation on Sydney Harbour right now, operated by Captain Cook Cruises. The design of these new ferries is by an Australian uh, architect, a naval architectural firm from the Northern Beaches, MCAD Crowler, and we're pleased to have worked with them with uh, Transdev Sydney Ferries, with the crew and staff of the ferries to overcome some of the design issues in the former ferries. Let's not forget that the former government bought overseas made ferries that came riddled with defects. They came full of asbestos. We had issues uh, with operating them at night. In fact, each and every wheelhouse had to be removed on those former ferries so that they could operate at night. Now, we want to deliver ferries that are reliable and are good value for the taxpayer, but also that last. These new ferries are replacing the river cat vessels that have served this route well for 30 years. They were commissioned specifically for this route and started back in 1993. We want to thank the river cats for their service, but we're pleased to be replacing them with Australian built ferries that will actually use 40% less diesel and are future-proofed for conversion to hybrid or electric operation. The Minns Labor Government is delivering on a key election commitment to build the future ferries that we need here.